What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Jimmy back in the reaction video. Back with another Bill Ingvold reaction video. Uh, this is going to be Bill Tries Marijuana. I saw that there was two videos when I typed this in, so like I guess it's going to be a second part called The Rest of the Marijuana Stories. I'm going to check, check out both, so we're not going to, you know what I mean, have to wait <laughs> on that. Uh, but yeah, uh, when he did the Here's Your Sign, that was hilarious. Especially the Harry Potter one. I still can't get that joke out of my head. I've been telling everybody that joke. That's hilarious to me. <laughs> and then, I'm not going to hold you. The deer one is hilarious too. Like, oh my God, where are you on the ground? <laughs> okay, uh, let's get to this reaction though. I heard you guys kept like suggesting this one, so let's get to it. Uh, before we get this video, though, hit the like button, subscribe, turn notifications on, check out my merch. Link is down in the description below. Social media channels are also down there. Give a follow if you guys want. Seems to suggest because DMs are always open. Let's do this. Bill tries marijuana. I finally went to my doctor. I said, Doc. You gotta write me a prescription to help me sleep at night. And he goes, oh, Bill, oof. I don't like writing prescriptions for pills. They got bad side effects. And I go, dude, I'm dying here. He said, Bill, I never thought I'd say this in my medical career. He said, have you ever tried medical marijuana? And I said, uh oh. I said, doc, I've never even tried unmedical marijuana. <laughs> I said, I'm not going to jail because I can't sleep. He goes, nah, 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 you're not going to go to jail. He said, here in California, for medical reasons, it's legal. He said, I'm going to write you this card, and I want you to take it to the dispensary down the road. I said, what's a dispensary? He goes, it's like a drugstore. And I'm thinking, all right, it's like a Walgreens or a CVS, you know. <laughs> People in lab coats with name tags. No, it's a pot store. I walk in this store, and there's five white guys with dreadlocks that want to hug me. All right. <laughs> Have you ever walked into a bar? And the second you walk through the door, your brain went, boop, wrong bar. <laughs> That's what this was. <laughs> I walk in, I looked around, went, oh, hell no. And I turned to leave. And as I turned to leave, I heard this voice from behind me go, well, hello, my friend. <laughs> and I turn around, <coughs> and, this kid, and he goes, oh, bless my you. Thank name you. is Peace. <laughs> peace. said, well, peace, I think I'm in the wrong place. And he goes, well, what brought you here? And I go, well, my doctor, he said, he goes, oh, so now you're smarter than your doctor. <laughs> what? He goes, well, your doctor sent you here, but apparently on the way over, you found a cure for whatever it was, so A.K.A. <laughs> Peace got a point. Than your doctor. And I remember thinking to myself, I'm being run circles around <laughs> by a pothead. I should be quicker than this. And I go, well, he gave me this card, and he goes, oh, the key to the kingdom. <laughs> he goes, let me see your card. So I hand him my card, and he goes, oh. Having a little problems going nighty night, are we? <laughs> what am I, seven? Yeah, I guess. Hey, mate. He goes, well, turn around, my friend, and welcome to Shangri La. And I turn around, and there is a full on wall of jars of marijuana. And they all had names, but they weren't medical names. They were names like Bubba Kush, Apey Grapey, Cindy Cinnamon. I'm in the Ben and Jerry's of Pot. <laughs> and he pulls his jar off the wall and all I saw was the name comatose <laughs> and he takes them out and puts it in a scale weighs it puts that in a bag and staples it shut and he goes now you go home and enjoy I had parked my car 50 feet from this pot store this was me walking back to my car with this bag of marijuana <laughs> Yeah, well, I know the cops are right around the corner going, he's got the bag. Take the shot. Take the shot. Paranoid. I get to my car. I open the trunk. I take the spare tire out. I put the pot in the wheel well. I put the spare tire on top of that, a dead body, some lime, and a tarp. 
I'm driving 15 miles an hour in a six-lane freeway with my blinker on nine miles for my exit because I don't want to raise any red flags. <laughs> and the whole time I'm thinking, what have you done? You don't smoke pot. You don't even know how to smoke pot. And then the other side of my brain goes, everybody shut up. Just shut up. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Is he already high? He made collars smoke pot, and he always had these papers called zigzags. And he bought him at a convenience store. And I remember thinking, I don't remember having this many voices in my head. <laughs> so I pull into this 7-Eleven. <laughs> Y'all, I'm 58. <laughs> you would have thought I was a 12-year-old boy trying to buy his very first Hustler magazine. I walk in the store, the clerk goes, what's up? And I go, what's up with you, my brother? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. came over me. He goes, what do you want? I go, I'll tell you what I want, my friend. I want a Slurpee, Slim Jims, and zigzag. And he goes, dude, it's not illegal to buy papers. And I said, was it that bad? And he went, Jesus. <laughs> so I get my papers. I drive home. I run down the basement because I can't tell Gail about this. She's way anti-pot. She won't even let me go backstage at a Willie Nelson concert. Well, she goes to bed that night. I'm down the basement. I got the pot. I got the papers. I'm like, now what? Because I don't smoke. I've never rolled a cigarette. So I'm rolling what I think is a joint. And it ends up looking like a chewed up toothpick. And I go, I can't smoke that. And all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, wait a minute. I got my granddaddy's pipes. My granddad was a pipe. Remember your grandpa's tray of five pipes? So I rummage through this closet. I find one of granddaddy's pipes. I put the pot in it. And I stood up and I'm looking right in the mirror and I went, oh my God. <laughs> I look like Ward Cleaver trying to get high right now. <laughs> Which would have been a great episode. Ward puffing on that pipe. Yeah. <laughs> June. I never watched that show. Never get Beaver. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was saying like I never watched that. I don't get it. It's leave it to Beaver. Okay. <laughs> okay. Back to the basement. <laughs> I lit this pot, I took one puff. Oh my God, I coughed so hard I thought my liver was gonna jump out of my mouth. I woke Gail up two flights up. I'm in the basement going <laughs> Uh oh. And Gail goes, Bill! Where are you? She goes, Bill. And I'm like, damn it, how are you doing that? <laughs> oh my goodness. And she goes, are you all right? And I'm like, where's my Pink Floyd album? I need to hear Hey You right now. <laughs> okay, let's go to watch the rest of the Air Honest story. My boy is out of it. He said, how are you doing, man? And they don't tell you the weird stuff you think about when you're high. When you get high for the first time, there should be somebody there to help you. Like a shaman. You know, some Indian spirit that goes, hey, man, relax. This is all real. I'm baked out of my gourd in our basement. And this thought pops in my head. Whoa, you're high. <laughs> Yet, you're low. <laughs> well, I cannot deal with that right now. <laughs> and the paranoia, oh my God, I just flushed the pot down the toilet. And I, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't deal with it. And I called my doctor next and I said, what the hell was that? He goes, what? And I go, dude, I coughed so I thought you were going to have to replace my liver. And he goes, oh, Billy, you don't smoke it, you eat it. And I said, what? 
He goes, they have these brownies. I said, yeah, I saw those. He goes, well, the pot's in the brownies. He goes, go back and get a week's worth of brownies. So I go back to the pot store. There's peace. What no. <laughs> so how'd it go? And I go, well, to be honest, I caught the door. I thought they were going to place my liver. And he goes, well, you know the old saying. <laughs> what? He goes, you got to cough to get off. You got to cough to get off. Well, that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> he goes, what are you doing back here? And I go, well, I'm supposed to get some brownies. And he goes, oh, most excellent choice. So he goes and gets my brownies. Well, y'all, these brownies are the size of postcards. And there's no dosage on them. Don't tell they me don't he say, ate the hey, whole brownie. They don't say, hey, all you need is a corner. <laughs> don't tell me he eats the whole brownie. There's no way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I go no. home, go down the basement, no. I ate the whole brownie. <laughs> no. And I was fine for 20 minutes. <laughs> and then I didn't have a body. <laughs> and I pretty much freaked out. <laughs> I'm in my basement going, oh my God, I'm just a head on the floor in my basement. <laughs> Get out of here, a head can't roll upstairs. Hey, I don't know why this is so funny to me. I'm just a head on the floor of my face. <laughs> I can, like, picture it. I think that's what's going on here. Yeah. I'm in my basement going, oh, my God. I'm just a head on the floor of my basement. How am I going to get out of here? A head can't roll upstairs. Oh, God, and Gail's going to have to push around in a baby stroller. And go, hi, this is my husband, Bill, the head. Well, well uh, yeah, he, well, he doesn't have a body because he experimented with marijuana, didn't ya? <laughs> and I am freaking out, and I go, I gotta calm down. I gotta watch some TV. I turn on my TV. You don't think there's karma gods out there? What comes on? Cops. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And there's a police helicopter that's right above my house. I can hear it. I'm going, oh my god, oh my god. I'm going to jail, and I'm just ahead. Who knows what kind of sick, disgusting things they'll do to a head in jail? Then I realized it's not a police helicopter. It's our ceiling fan clicking around in our basement. <laughs> and then the phone rang, and it was my mom. No. Oh, I don't care if you're 58 or you're 15. When you're high, the last voice you need to hear is your mother. How I answered the phone, I don't know. I'm just <laughs> ahead. And I said, hello? And she goes, hi, honey, it's mom. I went, oh, God. Hi, mom. And she goes, what are you doing? I went, nothing. Sure not doing marijuana. I go, what do you want, mom? This really isn't a good time. She goes, well, honey, I'm calling you from the hospital. And I said, what? She goes, your father was having chest pains. I said, oh, my God, oh, my God, is dad having a heart attack? She goes, no, honey, relax, jeez. The doctor just says he has acute angina. <laughs> oh no, what did he hear? <laughs> he has a what? He has a cute angina. I go, stop saying it, mom. She goes, saying what? I go, then my dad has a cute vagina. <laughs> She goes, I think I have the wrong number. I go, I think you do. <laughs> well, now I'm completely freaked out. I'm like, oh my God. My father. <laughs> <laughs> well, that explains the small urethra. There you go. They gotta be a joke in right there. You drop back. Oh my God, my mother has a wiener. My mother has a wiener. We're going to be on Mori Povey. So
I done got Vitamin water all over me Nah man <laughs> I was not expecting that I thought he was about to go with Oh he's adopted or something Hopefully he said I want to just go No man Oh no Shoot Oh man Oh Shoot Oh my god, my mother has a wiener. My mother has a wiener! <laughs> We're gonna be on Mori Poe Beach, oh my god! No wonder we never went to the beach. And I must have been screaming all this out loud because Gail came running downstairs and she goes, What is wrong with you? I go, Well, <laughs> pretty big bombshell today. <laughs> I just found out my father. He goes, no, he doesn't. I said, yes, he does. And apparently it's a cute one. <laughs> I passed out. I woke up with the worst headache I've ever had in my life. Not from the marijuana, but because I slept on the floor for 17 hours. 17? And when I, fi <laughs> when I finally came to, the first thing I did was go, oh, thank God it's back. <laughs> and then I called my dad <laughs> he really didn't understand the conversation <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just in this fog and all I want is a cup of coffee and I stagger upstairs and I walk in the kitchen and I look up and there's Gail lying on the breakfast table drinking milk out of the carton which she never does <sighs> I go, what are you doing? Did she, she goes, eat brownie? get these brownies? <laughs> <you're> <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Shangri-La. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's a good one right there. Oh, man. Yeah, you got it like... <laughs> I didn't give this first one a like. Oh, man. I was not expecting him to say this. <laughs> I literally just thought he was about to say, like, maybe he's adopted or something. Like, he <laughs> was pierced by his parents. Oh, he said, hell no. <laughs> oh, man. So that's, uh, soon as he said, somebody should have told him. <laughs> Try to corner. My mind isn't with. Oh no, he he ate the whole thing. <laughs> then when he said his wife was playing on the counter, oh yeah, he he's another great storyteller. That was hilarious. I got to go <laughs> that one. The first at first I was like, uh, it's 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 all right. And then the second half, yeah, the second half is to the door for me. That's hilarious. Oh man, you gotta watch the rest of the Real Ron story to like actually get the whole thing, cause like, oh. And then his peace accent was hilarious. The beginning of it, the peace story was kind of funny too though. I'm like, oh, you're smarter than your doctor. <laughs> cause like, that's a good point. <laughs> but, oh man, that's a good one. Now, you have other suggestions. Now, if it's not just from Bill, if for any other stand up you guys will be check out, let me know down in the comments. Uh, hit like button, subscribe to the notifications on to the channel, you guys. Peace.